Hey guys, all right with you? Today I came to talk about one of the biggest fast food chains in the world, McDonald's. Yes, I know you love McDonald's burgers, fries, ice cream, and freebies. But do you know how this company came about? Do you know what were the challenges, achievements, and curiosities that marked the history of McDonald's? Well, if you want to know all this and more, stay tuned to this video. To avoid interrupting your video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like so you don't miss anything. We are here three times a week bringing full videos for you. Furthermore, I thank you because your subscription is your like, together, it makes this channel grow because YouTube shows this video to more people. And this channel growing, I can bring you more videos. So thank you very much. Continuing. The history of McDonald's begins in 1937 when two brothers named Richard and Maurice McDonald opened a hot dog stand in California. They called the stall Airdrome, and it was soon a hit with customers. In 1940, they moved the stand to a larger building and changed the name to McDonald's Barbecue. They served various types of food, such as barbecue, sandwiches, and pies. But the brothers realized that what sold the most was the hamburger. So they had an idea. Simplify the menu and focus on the burger. They also had another idea. Speed up service and reduce costs. They created a system called Speedy Service System, which consisted of a production line in which each employee had a specific role in assembling the burgers. They also replaced plates and cutlery with disposable packaging and eliminated waiter service. In 1948, they reopened the restaurant with the new concept. A hamburger cost 15 cents and was delivered within minutes. The restaurant became known as McDonald's Hamburgers and soon attracted many customers. The brothers also renovated the building and placed two golden arches on the facade, which would become the brand's symbol. The history of McDonald's could have continued like this if it weren't for a man named Ray Kroc. He was a milkshake machine salesman who was impressed by the number of orders the McDonald brothers placed. He went to visit the restaurant and was fascinated by the system they had created. He proposed to the brothers that they franchise the business and offered to be the agent responsible for the expansion. The brothers accepted the proposal and, in 1955, Ray Kroc opened the first McDonald's franchise in Illinois. He also founded the company McDonald's Corporation to manage the franchises. He began selling franchises to various entrepreneurs across the country and McDonald's began to grow rapidly. But Ray Kroc had a different view of the business than the McDonald brothers. He wanted to standardize products, prices and quality across all franchises. He also wanted to innovate and introduce new items to the menu, such as milkshakes, cheeseburgers and nuggets. He also wanted to invest in advertising and marketing to make McDonald's a globally recognized brand. The McDonald brothers did not agree with the changes that Ray Kroc wanted to make. They preferred to maintain the restaurant's original concept and not get involved in the corporation's decisions. They also didn't like the way Ray Kroc treated franchisees and suppliers. They thought he was authoritarian and greedy. In 1961, Ray Kroc bought the McDonald brothers' share of the company for $2.7 million. He became the sole owner of McDonald's and continued to expand the business around the world. He also changed the company's logo, joining the two golden arches into an M. He also created the character Ronald McDonald, the clown who became the brand's mascot. The story of McDonald's doesn't stop there. The company continued to grow and adapt to new times and new consumer demands. She created new products, such as salads, wraps, coffee and ice cream. She also created new concepts, such as McCafe, McDrive, and McDelivery. She was also involved in social causes, such as McDia Feelys and the Ronald McDonald Institute. McDonald's is a story marked by betrayal Ray Kroc was a man obsessed with success. He convinced the brothers to let him expand the brand across the country, selling franchises. But he was not satisfied with that. He wanted to change the menu, the ingredients, the design. He wanted to have full control of McDonald's. The brothers did not agree with Ray Kroc's changes. They wanted to maintain the quality and simplicity of their product. They then decided to sell the franchise to him for $2.7 million and keep 0.5% of future profits. But they were deceived. 
Ray Kroc never paid this percentage and even tried to take credit from them for the invention of McDonald's regarding 0.5% of future profits, an agreement that was never fulfilled. The McDonald's brothers' big mistake was not having formalized the agreement in writing. It was just a simple handshake. Ray Kroc did everything he could to put an end to his brothers. He opened a diner across the street from their original restaurant, which had to be renamed The Big M. He also wrote an autobiography in which he portrayed himself as the founder of McDonald's, ignoring his brother's contributions. Ray Kroc did everything he could to put an end to his brothers. He opened a diner across the street from their original restaurant, which had to be renamed The Big M. He also wrote an autobiography in which he portrayed himself as the founder of McDonald's, ignoring his brother's contributions. Today's Challenges At McDonald's Today, McDonald's is one of the largest fast food chains in the world, with more than 38,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries. It serves around 69 million customers a day and employs more than 1.9 million people. It is also one of the most valuable and influential brands in the world, with an estimated value of $130 billion. But McDonald's also faces some challenges and criticism. It has to deal with competition from other fast food chains, such as Burger King, KFC, and Subway. It also has to deal with changes in the eating habits of consumers, who are looking for healthier, sustainable, and ethical options. It also has to deal with accusations of exploiting workers, polluting the environment, and contributing to obesity and other diseases. So, what did you think of this story? Did you know how McDonald's came about? Did you know the differences between the McDonald brothers and Ray Kroc? Did you know about the curiosities and details that marked the history of McDonald's? Leave your opinion in the comments. Recommend the next video that makes sense for you to watch. The Complete Story of Burger King. See you in the next video. See you soon.